Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little Halloween treat for you using the Potions and Spells bundle. This is an online exclusive from Stamping Up. You won't find it in any of the catalogs. It's just online. Um, I know it's early in the year for Halloween, but online exclusives aren't always guaranteed. Sometimes they sell out without notice. So I wanted to go ahead and showcase it. So if you wanted it, um, you could grab it before it's gone. We're gonna make a little treat holder. This is um, a witch's broom pen or pencil actually. And I will have it linked on my blog today. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back and I'll show you exactly where I purchased it. We're gonna make this from the bottom up. So let's start with the actual holder. Um, you're gonna need two pieces of cardstock. The first one, basic black. Let's see, let me move all my markers so we don't get confused. The basic black one is on the back. You don't need to score it. It's nine by three. But the pumpkin pie one is two and three fourths by nine and three fourths. Suddenly I was second guessing myself, but no, that's right. Nine and three fourths by two and three fourths. These measurements will be on a PDF on my blog for you. If you wanna go over there, you can grab it, it's free. We're gonna just score it at four and a fourth four and a half, five and a fourth, and five and three fourths, all right? And basically what we're gonna do is make this, um, this U shape here. Before we do that, let's stamp some bubbles on here. And this stamp set has several cute little bubbles. I'm gonna use this bigger one. Whoops, we don't want basic black, do we? I'm gonna use the bigger one and the smaller one. And I'm just gonna stamp my bubbles, kind of turning the stamp so that they're in different directions each time. You can have them kind of going off the page. This is kind of, you know, like the, the bubbling cauldron. You're sending bubbles out around your witch's broom. All right, so now we're gonna fold this in and out like this and then back in. Okay, so really, you're just you're just doing that. It's very easy. Um, I have a regular hole punch here, and I'm going to stick it into the middle, and punch a hole there, and punch a hole there. Now, I will tell you that. Whoa, it looks like we're not very centered. Let's see if I can center that a little bit better. We're going to have to wiggle the pencil a little bit to get it in there. It's a pretty tight fit, but you want a tight fit so that your pencil doesn't fall out. All right, we're gonna just put some adhesive on the top section and the bottom section. And I'm gonna start up here like this, and then I'm gonna form that U. I'm gonna get this down here and push all that down so that my U is sticking out like that, okay? Now let's grab one of our pencils. You have to take that lid off and then really just kind of twist it, force it in there to get it to, to go, all right? And then you can put your lid back on and it's not gonna go anywhere, it is there. Okay, so that's how you make the holder. Now let's do all the fun stamping. We're gonna stamp that cauldron first. We're gonna do it on basic black and we're going to emboss it with black embossing powder. I'm gonna use my embossing buddy to rub all over the black cardstock to remove any static that might be there that might possibly hold on to those little granules in places that we don't want them. I'm gonna ink up my cauldron in um, Versamark ink. I'm gonna stamp it. Now you're probably not gonna see it because it is black, but when I add this black embossing powder on here, you will see it. This is the embossing tray. Um, the embossing tray along with the embossing buddy, a little paintbrush and a reverse tweezers come in our embossing accessories kit. It's a really good kit to have if you like to emboss. Now I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool, maybe take about 15 or 20 seconds. And when you see it start to turn shiny, you'll know it's ready. All right.
right. Now, let's do our little cat. Little cat is so cute. And I am gonna color the cat with Smoky Slate Blends. This is intended to be a black cat, but our, our uh, black Stampin' Blends are very, very dark, and I find you, you lose a lot of detail when you use them. So I like to use Smoky Slate in place of black um, sometimes if I want to make sure that I'm not gonna lose all those details. So I'm gonna just first take my bullet point end and I'm gonna color my cat all with the light smoky slate. The good thing about the blends is that they blend. <laughs> Hence the name, right? Um, so you're not going to get a bunch of streaky marker lines. All the marker just kind of bleeds together nicely. I'm going to leave the top of him pretty light because that's the top where the sun would be on him, where the light would be on him. So I'm going to leave that the lightest. Right now, I'm going to take my dark and I'm gonna come around anywhere that might be something that's overlapping, creating a shadow, like here, where his head is, kind of diagonally. And then down here on the inside, like that. This back leg's definitely gonna be dark. Back here on this back side and around the back side of his tail. And then we do have a little bit of dark right here. Also, I'm gonna Put a dark shadow on the left side of his face. Now I'm going to go back with my light and just kind of blend that color towards the top. Remember we want the top to be the lightest part of him. I'm going to switch over to my brush tip so that I can kind of just flick that color up there like that just and you're, you're adding layers of color each time. So you want that top part and the part around his face to really be the lightest with the least amount of layers. All right, there we go, there's our kitty. I'm gonna take pumpkin pie, give him some orange eyes, like that. All right, now let's cut him out and the cauldron. I have already cut some things out ahead of time and we'll look at that on the other side of our die cutting. All right, grab your coordinating dies and let's get them on here. You might, you know, whenever I have colored something, and I'm gonna go die cut it. I don't wanna to have to do it over again because my die slips, so I like to use post-it tape just in case. I don't want that die to slip and then have to start all over. All right, this is a little bit trickier to see. So I'm gonna line these up and put my post-it tape there. Let's move this out of the way. There's our cat and our cauldron. Now, for the sake of the video, I've done several things ahead of time and all of the dies are here. Um, I've cut a basic white banner. This is actually from the Hugs and Hearts and Hugs die set, but everything else is from this set. We're gonna use some liquid glue. I have cut um, some purple glimmer for the little drips around the top of our cauldron. Okay. And we're gonna, I've got a lemon lime twist. No, actually this is granny apple green. Granny apple green circle. These are the spotlight on nature dies. And we'll start by layering our cauldron right there in the middle. All right, and then I'm gonna stamp my sentiment in pumpkin pie. Happy Halloween. I love, during Halloween, I love just a basic happy Halloween sentiment. I think it just, you can use it for so many things. All right, let's put dimensionals on this as well. And we're gonna put this kind of down here across the bottom. We'll add our little kitty cat. I like how he's up on his, you know, he's arching his back like he's hissing. All right, now I've also cut out two white bottles. Um, that's this die and this die. And 
again with the dimensionals. Put one there. And one there. Now there's these two dies right here, this one and this one, and that's for the liquid that goes in the bottles. This one right here, by the way, if you can't figure out what that is, it is the liquid pouring into the bottle. If you look online, you'll see the sample that shows that. Um, some people are like, what in the world is that dye? But that's what it is if you wanna have like a um, project where the potion is pouring into the bottle. All right, so I've got some old olive glimmer and then just a piece of granny apple green that I cut for that bottle. Get those centered like that. All right, now let's bring this back over and dimensional, dimensional. And we'll put that right in the center. Okay, and let's bring in our very vanilla and basic black ribbon. There we go. And oh, I don't have my ribbon scissors here, so let's see if these will cut it. There we go. Oh, it needs to cut a little bit shorter on that side. Now remember the complete supply list and measurements for this project are on a free PDF over on my blog. Uh, it has all the details for you as well as two other potions and spells projects. All right, bow, and now let's add just a couple more bubbles. These are our Again, our purple um, glimmer paper, if you will. And we'll just add those in. And you actually probably need to poke out the little part like that. Okay, I think that is good. And there you go. A pretty fun non-candy treat. I know a lot of times we need treats that are not candy. Well, here you go. You've got a non-candy treat with a cute little broom pencil. All right, click the link on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, as well as the links for the other things that you need, the pencils, post-it tape, and everything else. All right, happy stamping, guys. Bye.